Good day everyone, here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for the value of n given that square root of 2 plus square root of 8 raised to the power of n equals n truth of 100. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. Our goal here is to solve for the real value of n. Now, we have square root of 2 plus square root of 8 raised to n equals the nth root of 100. How are we going to answer this kind of question? First thing or one thing we need to do is to simplify the left hand side until it becomes a single number. Take note that square root of 8 is just 4 times 2. And let's have some loss of radicals. If we have square root of a times b, it's equivalent to square root of a times square root of b. Therefore, square root of 4 times 2 can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 2. And now, square root of 4, we know this is just 2. Now we have square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 2. Since they are now similar, we can combine them. So square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 2 is just 3 times square root of 2. Now, on the right side, we have nth root of 100. This can be written as 100 raised to the power of 1 over n. Now, 3 times square root of 2, let's simplify this, because 3 is square root of 9. Now, let's use again this identity. Therefore, square root of 9 times square root of 2 is just square root of 9 times 2, or simply square root of 18. Now, square root of 18 is just 18 raised to 1 half. Now, using some loss of exponent, 18 raised to 1 half raised to the power of n is just 18 raised to 1 half times n or simply n over 2. Now at this point, to solve for the value of n, we will use logarithm. So let's take the logarithm on both sides. We choose in base 10. The reason is we see 100 and 100 is 10 squared. So we choose base 10. Now, if we use logarithm in this equation, we can now use the law of logarithm that says that if we have logarithm of b raised to the power of a, this can be written as a times logarithm of b. Therefore, logarithm of 18 raised to n over 2 can be written as n over 2 times logarithm of 18. Now, Logarithm of 100 raised to 1 over n is just 1 over n multiplied by logarithm of 100. Now again, we know that 100 is 10 squared, therefore logarithm of 100 is just 2. Now let's simplify 1 over n times 2 will give us 2 over n. Now let's clear the fraction. First thing to do is to multiply both sides by 2. This will give us n times logarithm of 18 equals 4 over n. Now, let's multiply both sides by n. And since we want the value of this variable n, what we're going to do is to divide both sides by logarithm of 18. Now, to solve for the value of n, we need to get the square root on both sides. And take note, when we use square root and we have n squared on the either of the side, left or right hand side, take note that we have two possible values here. We have a positive and a negative. And now, on the left hand side, square root of n squared is just n. So, n is equivalent to positive or negative square root of 4 over logarithm of 18. This answer is acceptable, but we can simplify this more. Take note that this 4 is a perfect square. So, positive or negative square root of 4 over logarithm of 18 can be written as positive or negative 2. We can pull out this 4, square root of 4 is 2. So, we have positive or negative 2 times square root of 1 over logarithm of 18. And now, since we are now in logarithm in base 10, so this 1 can be written as logarithm of 10. So this is just 1. To simplify this logarithm of 10 over logarithm of 18, we will use this identity. If we have logarithm of b to the base of c, 
all over logarithm of a to the base of c, we have the same base. Then, this can be written as logarithm of b to the base of a. Therefore, this logarithm of 10 over logarithm of 18, we know we have the same base of 10. This can be written as logarithm of 10 to the base of 18. Therefore, our answer to this question must be positive or negative 2 times square root of logarithm of 10 to the base of 18. And as always, we are done.